Hi, and welcome to Math Boost Camp. In this lesson, we'll learn to use the order of operations to simplify numerical expressions. Numerical expressions are mathematical phrases that contain only numbers and operation symbols. By simplifying a numerical expression, you can find its value. When you simplify a numerical expression, there's a specific order you must follow to make sure everyone gets the same answer. Take this expression as an example. It involves two operations. Let's say Johnny subtracts first and then multiplies, resulting in 40. However, if Susie multiplies first and then subtracts, she gets a zero. Who is correct in this scenario? This shows the order matters and why the order of operations is important. Without it, there would be a lot of confusion. When an expression involves more than one operation, it's essential to determine the correct order in which to perform them. To make it easy to remember this order, we use the acronym PEMDAS. P stands for parentheses or other grouping symbols. If an expression has these symbols, you should carry out the operations within the parentheses first. E represents exponents, where you calculate the values of numbers with power signs. M and D are multiplication and division. You perform them from left to right as they appear in the problem. Lastly, there is A for addition and S for subtraction. Once again, you perform these operations from left to right as they are ordered in the problem. Following this order ensures that everyone arrives at the same answer and avoids confusion. Let's do some examples. In this problem, since there are no parentheses, we proceed directly to exponents. We have 10 squared, which means 10 times 10, resulting in 100. Bring down everything else. Next, we perform any multiplication or division from left to right. In this expression, we have 3 times 8, which equals 24. Bring everything else down. Finally, we perform the addition and subtraction from left to right. We see subtraction first from left to right. So subtract first, 100 minus 24 equals 76, then add 76 and 6, 82 is our final answer. Here we deal with anything inside parentheses. We have 7 minus 4 inside the parentheses, which equals 3. Bring everything else down. Now we handle the exponent. 3 squared means 3 times 3, which equals 9. Bring everything else down. Now we perform any multiplication or division from left to right. We have 18 divided by 9, which equals 2. Finally, we multiply 2 times 2 equals 4. That's our final answer. Here is our last problem. You see two sets of grouping symbols. In that case, you should perform the operations inside the innermost parentheses first. 5 minus 1 is 4. Then you perform the operations inside the brackets. 9 minus 4 is 5. You have exponents next. So find the value of 3 cubed, which is 3 times 3 times 3, resulting in 27. Now multiply 10 and 5, which gives you 50. Finally, add 50 and 27 together, and the correct final answer is 77. Now you're ready to practice these skills independently and boost your confidence. Please check the description below to download the worksheet on this topic, along with the answer key. See you in the next lesson!